We met uh, literally three hours before the door opened for the public uh, on the stage. We, we just said two words to each other, hello. Uh, not even how are you because we didn't have time for we this. Didn't have time yeah, we that. just opened the music. Uh, I gave A, and, and then we checked the tempo, <laughs> and we just went straight through uh, to play around at least once, so we know each other. As, as I said earlier, music is a kind of a language that you can communicate through, and that's how we started to get to know each other at first before actually speaking much. When things happened on February 24th, at first, uh, I was in shock. It was, I was speechless and I couldn't do anything. Um, then, then came up, upon me a great, great grief, like a black, like black cloud, like a dark cloud. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't even think or eat or sleep or anything. And then, the day three, uh, I think some something woke up in me, and I know it, what it was. It was my artistry, and it was my belief in what I can do to help uh, he, from here, since I cannot be there physically. So I reached for Carnegie Hall, and they were fantastic, the Carnegie Hall team. They found a date for me within one day. They said, we have a cancellation, it's yours. On I reached out to Irena and for me to participate would also help me because I was going crazy. I wanted to do something and staying here in the US, far away from Ukraine, I felt like I'm hopeless. I see all my friends in Ukraine volunteer, they do this and that. And me sitting in my safe apartment it was not enough. So yesterday I played uh, final sonatas by Beethoven. This repertoire is very special to me. Um, the, the story goes the way that uh, Beethoven wrote those sonatas that when he was deaf already. And uh, Schopenhauer, he asked Beethoven, why is your last sonata only has only two moments? And Beethoven said, I don't have time. I have to rush to write my great symphony. And how much resilience in one person can be who can write pieces without being able to hear them back and still keep writing and still persist. So for, for me, he is he's an icon. He's an icon of resistance, of uh, intellectual power, of emotional power, who can pull himself together and keep going no matter what. I feel right now, I feel this resistance, I, have, I feel this resilience uh, in this music and I can relate to it myself and I can, when I uh, see the videos, when I speak to people in Ukraine, to my family, to my friends, to my colleagues, I can see how they fight and then how they defend every single inch of their country the way they can. And sometimes I even feel that the idea to fight for their country is even higher than their idea and desire to live. So much the musicians, they are in defense, dancers, they are doing all this and then they practice piano at the end, at, at night. A girl that I know really well, she plays organ at the cathedral and right now she's climbing every day under all the debris of shelled buildings. She, she's climbing to her cathedral to practice organ and then to live stream her playing for the people who are in the bomb shelters so that they can listen to her, so that she can lift their spirits.